What's going on, my fellow A Plusers? Welcome back once again to a brand new episode. It is I, your more phenomenal host, as always, Adam Perez, coming through once again with a quite impromptu episode. It was almost like I woke up today and Hasbro said, you know what? Screw case of the Mondays. Nobody on our watch when it comes to Ranger Nation is going to have the case of the Mondays today because I woke up today with a huge grin on my face when I come to discover that we actually have ourselves brand new Power Ranger Dino Fury photos and character breakdowns that wind up releasing today. Now, whether or not Hasbro meant to release these or if these wind up getting leaked, who certainly knows. Um, but um, I'm ready for it, to say the least. But what I wasn't ready for was for them to go ahead and drop today. So a bit of a bit of an impromptu video, but we had to go ahead and get our initial thoughts out, break some of this stuff down, definitely talk with you guys. And of as course, as always, these are just our A-plus opinions. But at the end of the day, we definitely want to go ahead and know yours also. So please let your thoughts be known either in the live chat or in the comment section box below if you're watching this after this particular episode does in fact stream. Now, um, quick shout out goes out to uh, Sentai5 at Sentai5 over on twitter uh, that's where i wind up getting majority of all these photos from now i don't know if he's the one that actually uh, or if they're the one that actually went ahead and initially released these particular photos they could have come from the a games 10 ranger board community who certainly knows i have no idea but sentai 5 was certainly the gentleman or, or the person that i wind up getting these particular um uh, photos from so i did want to go ahead and give a quick shout out but um you know who knows now that we've getting some photos in here we clearly see that hasbro and some of these sites that we've kind of talked about over the past uh, week or so now kind of changing things changing some of their promotions right maybe amping up for the premiere of dino fury while we still don't have a release date for the premiere of this show the fact that it's ramping up and we're starting to get more details and more photos and stuff it feels like it's ever so right around the corner so um keep your fingers crossed guys maybe we wind up getting ourselves a trailer or some other type of promotion um as we wind up getting closer to maybe the end of this week so who, who certainly knows but we'll definitely go ahead and keep you guys updated once new information does in fact drop but ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and get into this man um dino fury is certainly almost here we wind up sh getting showcased a brand new promotional um a pr promo and, and poster and things like that um we even utilized one of the brand new promos that we wind they wind up dropping uh for our thumbnail for a plus more phenomenal this past week which if you guys have not had the opportunity to check it out uh please go ahead and do so guys but um let's go ahead and start looking at these brand new photos here here is in fact our dino fury team ladies and gentlemen let's give it up first and foremost for them even being out in new zealand right now working hard filming power rangers for us uh they seem as though they've been having a fantastic time in new zealand a fantastic opportunity for them and continue to be just mind blown as to how much support that they're getting from ranger nation so definitely go ahead and keep it up out there guys but this is really some of our very first look sort of as the team them together what their costumes or i should say what some of their um their, their civilian modes would certainly look like and things like that so i thought it'd be pretty cool to kind of explore but this is the team i mean look how badass they look probably in a nice little slow motion action team shot I absolutely love it we got kai moya over here as ollie on the far left we got hunter deno coming through as the pink ranger in amelia right in the middle we wind up having russell curry as zato the gentleman from uh i believe it's from i think he's an alien if i'm not mistaken uh we also wind up having right next to him tessa rao who's going to be playing uh izzy in here um who's also going to be the sibling of mr chance perez himself aka javier in this particular particular uh, series also so uh, I, I love seeing them they all look like they got a little bit of an attitude to them some swag if you will some personality so um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed at the end of the day that it looks just as good on screen and they definitely come across that way as it certainly does in the photo itself but I absolutely love that group shot here's another group shot of them clearly in their command center or their new base that they're certainly at I don't know if I'm getting like dino charge vibes here or what kind of base I'm kind of getting vibes from uh, but I do like to see that we at least have some sort of command center for our rangers to certainly get in and guys look we we actually have ourselves different costumes they're not going to be rocking the same clothes uh every episode thank goodness uh although i have a feeling that chance perez or aka javi probably absolutely loves that leather jacket if i if i can borrow that uh chance 
please. I, I would absolutely love it. Uh, we also get to see another shot here of the team. Uh, this one, I will say this. I love getting them to see even further casual here for uh, Tessa Rouse, uh, or I should say for Tessa, a.k.a. Izzy in here. Um, clearly getting to see that she seems like she's going to be some type of uh, competition, running, relay race, whatever the case may be. Uh, we get to see Hunter Denno playing Amelia in here with the nice suit jacket, by the way. I absolutely loving the blazer, if you will, especially with the, the rolled up sleeves. I am kind of curious as to who the costume designer is for this show uh, and really why they decided to go the direction that they did with some of their characters choices, whether it be from the shoes to the jackets to the pants to the shirts and things like that. I am kind of curious if they wind up getting um, you know, uh, if, if they even talk to the customer, a uh, customer service, if they even talk to the costume designer in regards to what kind of styles they certainly like or could kind of apply to their character. So I, I would be interested to see that. Uh, and then we also have ourselves yet another uh, another shot here of the actual team itself. But this is actually the first shot where we get to see antennas on the head of Zato to further continue to show you that, hey, homeboy is in fact an alien to say the least. Um, I am kind of under the assumption though but because of the fact that we see him in with the antennas here clearly he has no antennas in this shot or in this shot or in this shot so i'm i'm assuming if anything he could probably either tuck them away or put them in hiding maybe they kind of come out when they're threats around you know when his emotions are, are heightened who certainly knows but i'm sure we'll get to see uh, a little bit more uh of how that winds up working out for everybody but uh, uh, uh really our first look here at some sort of action shots as a group as our uh, dino fury rangers are planning on facing off against somebody we don't quite know exactly who they're going to be facing off against quite yet um a couple of other uh, set shots um set design pieces here we get to see clearly um you know some some rocks that were either shaved down or formed into that of dinosaurs we know that they are definitely going to be uh hinting very heavily i mean it is a dino sort of themed anyway so i'm wondering if this is like a temple if this is maybe an entrance to their command center maybe they come across their powers here who certainly knows but um uh pretty cool looking uh statues and set designs or rock formations if you will uh and then we also get the opportunity to see here i'm wondering if this is one in our very sort of early shots uh of zato to certainly say the least and i don't think that dog is from space i'm pretty sure it's probably probably here from earth but i love the fact that the little dog is even like um dressed up with something around his collar it looks like i'm wondering if that's maybe zato's pet from another planet maybe they got dogs there too for all we know uh, or if this is something that's uh you know a creature that zato wind up coming across you know for his first time or whatever the case may be here on earth uh, or waking up in this present day so i am kind of cast fascinated um to, to kind of see if there if do we have a uh, uh, a dog and uh, his master sort of relationship here between these two. I definitely would love to see. I'm a big dog guy. So if we do were to get something like that, I would be perfectly uh, all right with that, to be honest with you. Uh, we have ourselves a couple of more photos that I definitely do want to go ahead and highlight to you. Um, but before we even get into that, I do want to go ahead and jump over to some of the character breakdowns that we wind up having. And this actually comes to us from the Hasbro's official site when it comes to Dino Fury. So I'm uh, really excited to go ahead and tackle this with you guys. Um, and we'll highlight some of the pictures as we're going along with this because I do think that this is important. The first thing that pops up to me, guys, that I would like to showcase to you when I do go to the PowerRangers.Hasbro.com site, and you go over here to Power Rangers, it says TV shows all seasons, right? It highlights all the previous seasons that certainly kind of came uh, before, if you will. Uh, and you can kind of load more seasons. But what's fascinating, you get to see here Super Mega Force. Oops, I pushed the push buttons. Um, but you get to see here like um, Power Rangers Ninja Steel 2017, uh, Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel 2018. Uh, you look at Beast Morphers seasons 26 and 27 because they are not they weren't splitting them up in super seasons we see 2019 and 2020 when we go up to dino fury you just see season 28 um titled uh with the date of 2021 now i am curious if they're only giving us just this one year for this particular season because they haven't unveiled a season two yet so this is all that they have right i don't know if if, if this was going to be broken down into two seasons i don't know if right now they would kind of indicate that in season 28 2001 and 2002 uh so so I am wondering if maybe that's kind of jumping the gun a little bit, but I do find it fascinating that they're only highlighting it for one year, despite Beast Morphers being 
two seasons and being broken down into two seasons in here also. So uh, I, I am again, I am wondering if we do get a second season, if they eventually will add the 2022 to that. But I just thought that would be fascinating. So we'll see if anything actually comes of it at the end of the day. Uh, let's go ahead and learn more when it comes to Dino Fury. So when it comes to this, it says when an army of powerful alien beings is unleashed on Earth, threatening life as we know it, a brand new team of Power Rangers fueled by prehistoric power of the dinosaurs are recruited to deal with the threat. And so we wind up having ourselves brand new character breakdowns for each and every one of them here. So uh, let's go ahead and get back into Zato here. So it says for Zato, uh, Zato is an alien from the planet Rafcon. He has been on Earth since the time of the dinosaurs, frozen in stasis. That kind of immediately reminds me of, uh, of, of Coda from uh, Dino Charge. He says, after he is revived, he leads the Dino Fury Power Rangers in the hopes of stopping the evil forces that destroyed his planet from destroying Earth earth so uh clearly he's going to be woken up into this present day um it should be pretty fun also to kind of see how um it's all it's also going to be pretty interesting to see exactly how he deals with being woken up in this time is he is he immediately going to know how to interact with things is he going to have to learn as he comes as as he goes along if you will um so it should be interesting to kind of see how zato uh winds up uh, fitting into this world when we do get to that particular point in time um we also wind up getting to uh, see uh ollie here also highlighted in the character breakdowns it says ollie is the confident logical skeptic who's never afraid to share Share his opinion and always needs to prove that he's right um that should be an interesting personality trait uh for ollie i, I would like to see how he um maybe if he butts heads uh with any of the other team members because of the fact that he has that mentality growing up he traveled the globe with his archaeologist mom uh dr akani um ollie doesn't uh, believe that there's anything that can't be proven or explained by science. So very logical, scientific sort of gentleman um, and clearly has uh, strong opinions that he definitely feels that he's very much right on. So anytime you have a strong headed sort of blue ranger or just a ranger in general, I'm expecting maybe some pushback with uh, Zeto or some of the other members in this particular team. So I am fascinated to see how um, how he's certainly going to go ahead and fit into plans uh, we also got the opportunity in here to see uh, hunter deno in the back right behind ollie um uh, she in fact will be playing the character amelia jones we have last names here amelia jones uh it says um a go-getting journalist with a passion for the paranormal that probably might explain maybe the uh the 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 jacket or the um the uh suit jacket that we see her rocking it says amelia works at the internet media agency buzz blast um she's well known in pine ridge as the person you come to if anything weird happens her enthusiasm seeps into everything she does uh much to the amusement of her friends and co-workers i feel like that's hunter deno maybe to the t so i'm i'm kind of excited to see how she brings maybe some of her personality into amelia jones also when i get this though i also get vibes of chloe from um smallville you know i think she had her own sort of paranormal investigative uh uh, journalism that she also did also um granted I, you know i'm pretty sure hunter deno is no allison mack no uh working in some sex trafficking rings to say the least so uh i am really fascinated to see amelia jones in here i there there is something really quirky and uh, loving about a paranormal journalist um I, i'm a huge believer in aliens you know i love x files i mean even going back to smallville i always the, the concept of what chloe was certainly doing was always pretty fun um so i think i think hunter deno will certainly fit really well when it comes to amelia so if there are any characters characters that are jumping out to me so far amelia definitely is one of those characters that i'm really uh, looking forward to see how they progress on screen i'm um, going to the siblings here let's go ahead and jump into uh chance perez who we get to see highlighted in here i'm assuming maybe they're training or practicing or whatever the case may be but when it comes to chance um the character breakdown has his name as javi garcia i believe we earlier we were listening to his uh have had his name listed as Javier. So I'm curious if they're going to go with Javier or just shorten it for Javi on the show. But let's say Javi Garcia. It says Javi is a, a free spirited musician who can be quiet at times, focusing his energy on his creative process and artistic endeavors. Again, that definitely feels very much like Chance Perez to me. Though he loves music, 
He can't settle on any one style or instrument. His stepsister, Izzy, is uh, his biggest supporter and the most important person in his life. And I'm glad that they went ahead and clarified the idea that they're step that they're step siblings. Uh, I'm assuming, if anything, maybe the, I, I don't I don't know where the um, the disconnect comes from, right? Like if they're both from the mom side or if they're both from uh, the 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 dad side or whatever the case may be. So uh, we'll we'll definitely see um, like who who's is who 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 belongs to who. So I definitely want to see how that kind of plays itself out, but. It definitely feels like it's, a, again, the idea of Chance Perez's personality fitting maybe this particular character really to the T. And I, I, for me, I'm really fascinated to see just what that relationship is going to be like between Chance, uh, or I should say between Javi and his sister uh, in Izzy here, who we're going to go ahead and highlight real quick here. Uh, Tessa Rao playing Izzy Garcia. Uh, the character breakdown has her as Izzy is a highly competitive and ambitious athlete, which we cl clearly saw from one of the set photos. Also, she pushes herself to the limit and never gives up. Even when the stress is overwhelming, she's uh, she's also close with her stepbrother and hobby. So again, really close, a uh, tight-knit relationship between those two. I, I would love to learn a little bit more about their life and what their life was like kind of growing up considering the fact that they are step siblings uh, i want to see exactly or at least learn exactly how they became as close as they have over the years uh, um but i like the idea that she's com she's highly competitive and a very ambitious athlete also uh and I, I have a feeling that we'll probably see that showcased a little bit uh when it comes to when it comes to this show i mean goodness she looks like she's <laughs> She looks like she's ready to go, and I'm absolutely loving like those tube socks uh, up to the the mid calf. I'm I'm loving the look. I'm really loving the look there. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool that they wind up actually putting up brand new, um, brand new um, uh, character breakdowns. It did say gallery with photos coming soon. I'm wondering if they had these photos up there originally, uh, and then they wind up taking them down. Uh, there's also a highlight here in regards to the Zords, uh, the T Rex Champion Zord, Tricera Blade Zord, Tiger Claw Claw Zord. Uh, was it the Ankylo Hammer Zord and then the Stego Spike Zord also? So they do have their own unique names. I'm still ready to kind of see Tyra Amigo in his human-sized T-Rex form from Real Soldier. I, I, I do want to see if they're going to utilize um, that sort of costume uh, for the T-Rex or if they just kind of threw that to the side. For me, it would be really cool if they had a, a, a T-Rex companion that kind of went along with them, if you will. So I am kind of excited for that. In regards to another character breakdown, uh, we we do in fact see Boom Tower here, Void Knight's monster general. So it looks as though Boom Tower is working for Void Knight. Um, but then we have Void Knight that's actually highlighted here with, in fact, the guy Sorg armor from Real Soldier being attached. It said, Void Knight is an armored alien warlord who crashed on Earth many years ago. He is intent on using the power of the supercharged Sporex for his own personal benefit. Um, so I am wondering here if he's been trapped on Earth the same amount of time as he was with uh, Zato, or if Zato has been here longer. Maybe the Void Knight has uh, finally found where Zato is or where this power is is and wind up coming to earth and now that they're certainly going to go ahead and face off with one another i'm kind of curious to see if they actually have a, a past or a history together because i i look you guys know i love personal feuds between our red rangers and one of the main villains on the show um so i'm kind of hoping that um there is a little bit of a a, a feud here um uh, uh, between these two so we'll see what we wind up getting when it comes to the void night um but i i will tell you this um I'm really excited. I'm really excited to kind of see what they're going to have in store for us. Um, but let's go ahead and get back into uh, some of the photos here because one of the brand new photos that we see is that we have ourselves a brand new original character. This is also a better, better uh, look at the command center itself much more spacious i absolutely love the design to be honest with you i think the lights uh really just bring in a, a, a ton of fresh air if you will just really uh make the whole entire scene just pop um but i love this costume design i don't recall this character at all from real soldier if i am mistaken guys please go ahead and let me know but this feels like it's a very much unique uh and original character and uh we'll get a, a little bit of a closer shot to him in a little bit but just to kind of see the attention to the detail in here whether it be the scales the horns um some of the jewelry or just the the the, the designs on his armor and his hair and things like that uh, i'm i'm really impressed with this so i don't know exactly how this character fits into um the series itself but it seems like it's a something original that we're going to be getting so i'm looking forward to it uh here's another shot of the group itself getting to see another angle of that dinosaur uh creature there another shot of the actual command center itself 
But do you guys see who's actually in the middle of this shot here? Mr. Gray Hair himself coming back or coming through. I was actually quite surprised when I saw this. When I saw this, I said, Mick, is that is that is that you, Mick? Uh, and it is. <laughs> It is. Uh, they they wind up bringing him back for the season. I mean, look, the actor, the performer that plays him, clearly attached to the hip when it comes to Power Rangers. They've utilized him a plethora of times in their past seasons. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? If you have good quality when it comes to performers, actors, utilize them again. And while I personally am not the biggest fan of Ninja Steel, the fact that Mick is back, one of the few bright spots in Ninja Steel does have me excited at least for his particular return. Um, does that make me excited for the season in general? I will say the return of Mick makes me a little cautious, a little cautious. I don't think anything's really going to subside my anticipation for Dino Fury, honestly. But I do have a sense of hesitation when I see Mick here, because if we are kind of bringing things in from Ninja Steel, please let this be the only thing. Let this be the only thing. Ninja Steel, I feel, for the most part, really left a bad taste in people's mouths. Um, I know some of those writers may be even returning to a certain extent, too. So I am kind of hoping here that when it comes to this, that... Um, uh, I'm hoping that this is the only thing from Ninja Steel that we wind up sort of bringing back in. I mean, listen, you know, Christiane can maybe come back as Sarah. I honestly wouldn't complain about that, honestly. But everybody else, anything else? No, nah, I'm good. Uh, I'm absolutely good. So here's hoping that this is the only thing that comes from Ninja Steel. We'll see. You know, the writers, I think some of the writers are still attached from Ninja Steel here into Dino Fury. But again, I feel like since we have seen Beast Morphers kind of take off the handcuffs a little bit um, and give them a little bit more free reign, maybe when it comes to Dino Fury, um, their, their storytelling will certainly be uh, even more compelling than what we saw when it comes to Beast Morphers. Uh, and here we get the shot of the original character one more time here with this dinosaur. Again, really getting a, a fantastic sort of attention to detail uh, to some of his just uh, set this, uh, his his costume design to say the least. So I'm really excited for this. I think this looks great. Uh, when I look at it, the, the, the cast itself, they look like they're ready to come and certainly deliver uh, A plus kind of quality here. So um, count me in, man, uh, at the end of the day. So guys, listen, you get your glimpse here of um, Power Rangers Dino Fury. Uh, you get to see some of the brand new shots. Is there anything that winds up standing out to you in regards to some of these characters in particular? Um, I think uh, for me, just based off of the photos alone based off of the character breakdowns for me my biggest anticipation for characters is definitely amelia in regards to her paranormal journalism and the siblings in regards to izzy and uh and javi i really want to see how um they wind up popping up and uh, again i think they have probably some of the best style when it comes to um just what they're wearing also uh and again I, i'm really fascinated to kind of see where the storyline is definitely going to uh definitely going to go ahead and take it um so at the end of the day, though, these are just my A-plus opinions. I certainly want to go ahead and know yours. You see these photos. You see these character breakdowns. What is certainly br uh, brought to your attention that you certainly want to go ahead and further discuss? Go ahead and let your thoughts be known in the comment section box below, ladies and gentlemen. And listen, if you love our content and you keep coming back here on a regular basis, do us a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. And, of course, most importantly, that big thumbs up. Hit that like button for us, guys, if you continue to appreciate our uh, our content here. But um, other than that, guys, that's going to certainly do it for us here if you want to follow us on social media you can do so right here at a plus opinions very active over on our main facebook page very active also on our twitter account and you can definitely check us out on instagram as well as twitch for you gamers as well but um until next time guys do me a big favor we'll certainly see you guys this upcoming saturday at noon central time for our live show but until then take care of yourselves take care of each other and as always keep it a plus may the power protect you i'll talk to you later bye